Hello, we're going to go over how to make an outworld for your ants. You can use almost any container, such as this container here. Put the lid off to the side. You can leave it empty like this for easy cleaning, but why leave it plain when it can be nice and fancy? Okay, first thing you're going to do is we're going to drill a hole. I like to use 7 16 tubing, so I got that same size drill bit. Maybe we better tighten it sufficiently first. Do not want to drill. Usually it drills easier than this. I'm not sure what its problem is today. Okay, I just finished drilling 14 of these and not one of them gave me this much trouble. Maybe I should have just used the first one. Don't push so hard when you first start drilling, that'll probably help. Well, it's not a perfect circle, but it'll work for us. Okay, so that'll fit. There's still some room around that, but that won't be too bad. Once we pour the grout, it'll hide that. Okay, take a small blob of clay. So when you're pouring grout, you don't want it flowing out. Okay, get that out of there. Okay, let's get our grout. You can use unsanded grout or sanded grout. Either kind will work because you usually don't water the outworld. Okay, I'm just going to give you the ratios because my measuring doesn't work very well. You're going to want this the consistency of about melted ice cream, where it's kind of thick. Pretty inconsistency is actually what you're after. It's easier to add a little bit and then keep adding more as you go along. I like to add lots of sand. It extends the grout and makes it a little bit harder in the end. For the outworld, I usually use half grout and half sand. still a bit watery. There we go. A little bit like pudding. Okay, so we're going to pour this in. Try not to hit the walls. Okay, we're going to level it out. You can use the stick, or you can even shake it side to side. I like to make a small mound over top of the entrance, because then when you drill up through it, it looks like a little tiny ant nest with a little tiny hole leading into it. Okay, that looks good enough. Now you can add any decorations you like, uh, fake plants, rocks, anything that your heart fancies, nothing at all if you choose. I'm just going to plop that in. The grout should hold it once it dries. There we go. 
If your plants want to fall over, hold them up, because in our second step, it'll be much easier to hold them down. All right, once you've got your decorations in, uh, you can super glue them down if you're going to use only a thin layer of grout, but with a layer this thick, yeah, you wouldn't be able to see them. So, clay is holding. We're going to take sand and cover the grout in sand. Uh, watch your plants and stuff, they might want to tip over. Once the sand's poured, it will actually help hold them upright. Like a nice thick layer. Okay, now we're going to pat this down a bit. Just so that the sand sticks to the grout a bit better. Okay, one trick that I like to do is to take my one finger and make a small tunnel through the sand to where we drilled. Just pack that with some sand. So I'll make it look a little bit fancier later on. Okay, with the sand on top, it's going to take quite some time to dry. So leave it for at least three or four days. Okay, so let that dry. So here's one that I poured last week. So it's nice, it's dry. Let's dump the sand out of it. Because of the moisture, it will stick. Use your fingers, a little bit of silicone, a popsicle stick to rub it loose. Don't rub too hard, you might actually rub the sand off of the grout, which can look kind of funny in the end. Okay, we're getting there. Remember I threw my finger in the first time? I'll make a nice little hidden entrance for the ants. There, that sound will be reusable once it's done. Okay. Now we're going to pull this off. Well, that's not going to help us now, is it? But because the hole is pre-drilled, it'll be much easier to drill. If you had waited until we were poor to drill it out, the vibration from the drill might actually break the grout loose which isn't what we want, so. Try and drill it straight towards the hole you put in there. There we go. Here's our hole. It looks nice, it looks hidden. You can just connect that straight to your ant nest and let them forage. Take your lid. Drill some holes in it, put some mesh on it, and that'll act as a secondary barrier if you don't have any insect barriers such as fluon or talc or something. So I hope you enjoy. We'll see you again later.